day in the life of a Denver entrepreneur. It's a Friday, so it's a little bit lighter today, which I ain't mad about. <laughs> I have three big things my mastermind call with my metamorphosis mastermind girlies I love them so much today we're talking about storytelling and really helping the women show up in their true power but like take the pressure off of storytelling of like oh my gosh it always has to be so deep and so you know it always just has to be this big transformation story when it could literally be like you have micro stories to tell every single day and that's what's going to get people's attention and like help them really understand like people remember stories not facts so yeah that's what we're talking about today and then i'm going with some of my friends to cosmic tea it's a metaphysical shop here in denver they have like crystals and you know that kind of stuff and then they also do like tarot readings astrology readings some healing services so i'm excited to be like a spiritual girly today um and then i had state night with my man so i'm gonna take you along for it here is the fit check um this is one of my favorite sets from amazon it's like buttery soft but super affordable i think it's crz yoga um i really love like the pastel i'm um, just threw on this like little over thing on top of it and yeah I'm so glad you're here with me let's go why do I like love the moment when everybody's about to jump on for a call and you're just like Ooh, like what's everyone's energy gonna be like what are we gonna talk about like you can just like feel the energy building up I love it so just waiting for my mastermind girlies to come on I'm gonna talk about some of the most impactful stories that you can tell so if you look at this list I'm gonna pull out some of the ones that I feel like are the most impactful what are the defining moments that shaped you into who you are today? Also, describe the moment you knew you were made to do what you're doing now. Like, what was that aha moment of like, oh my gosh, this is a problem that needs to be solved and I can solve it. This one is, what is the biggest obstacle you've ever had to overcome in regards to like where you are now and what you're doing now? And then the last one is, what is a client breakthrough you've witnessed or you helped someone through? So a great way to kind of talk around your services and to use storytelling in a way that like makes people aware of what you do without being salesy. Instead of just saying like, hey, here's three tips to do this. Be like, hey, my client had this big breakthrough when we implemented this into her business or into her spirituality practice. Like talk through like that you work with clients, the results you've given them because of those results are going to inspire other people and show that it's possible, but also there's a lesson in that for them. I just wrapped up the mastermind call and now I'm getting my socks and shoes on. Casey's about to pick me up and we're going to go to Cosmic Tea. So I can't wait. It's like one of my favorite places now. Okay, so Casey just picked me up and I got her her welcome gift from joining House Select. <laughs> she was our first member ever. It's been over a year and you're just now getting this gift. It's so okay. divine timing. Sorry about that, but <laughs> <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh, I love it. Hell yeah. That's so beautiful. It's a little goddess Diosa, Aww. my past client, Steph. She is Eva Lise Designs and she makes these. Oh my gosh. How many things do you have? It, here? So that was also from Galentine's. Remember you couldn't make it to Galentine's? Yes. So those were the gifts we gave out to everybody there. Oh my Goodness, and socks. I love socks. Oh, Wait, yay. yours have pizzas on them. <laughs> I love things. Yay! So much. Now we're going to Cosmic Tea. We're going to meet Cass. First time for me. Oh, you've never been there? Never been. I'm so excited. Yay. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll yeah. take you guys along. Yay literally obsessed with this place energy is just too good and cash is fed up with us too it's so fun to like bring your girlies here let me give you a quick little tour because the space is really cool too this is the main storefront where they have like crystals and oils and everything you could actually imagine and they're all from different local vendors um so you're always supporting a local small business by shopping there so i'm just love it this is like their other like kind of like main lounge room they put so much intention and love and good vibes into the decor. It's so fun. Um, back here are like all the different like healing rooms where you can go and have like different sessions for different things. Um, I, of course, have to show you the bathroom wallpaper because big kitty energy. I'm all about it. I was obsessed with this. I was like, okay, I need this at my house. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I actually have gotten a Yoni steam here before. They also have like beauty eyelashes, Botox, like almost anything you can imagine. Um, 
and the cute little rooms are so private and special. It's, I just, I can't say enough how much love and tension went into this space. You can just feel it. This is the candle bar where they can help you make your manifestations into candles to burn later. We were just doing all the things today in case you wanted to get some Botox. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to come with you. I've never seen it. A little vibrating wand. Wait, what is it? <laughs> yeah, it's a vibrating wand. What do you do with it? You like hold it here. It's supposed to distract you from the pain. Oh. Yeah. Love it. Mm-hmm. I obviously didn't record her injecting her, but if you guys need some Botox or filler, go to Luminous Medical Aesthetics here at Cosmic Tea. Just getting home. That was so amazing. And now it's date night with my boo. Okay, so I just walked in and look what Bubba just got in the mail. Or you picked him up? Picked him up. His brand new, is this merch? What do you call it, merch? Well, I don't know. Gear. His gear for his business. And then let me see the hat. Boom. I'm so proud of him. He's been so killing it. He just started his new business. It is Custom 77, Welding and Woodwork Custom Furniture. So if you guys need anything custom, hit up your boy. Okay, now it's time for sushi. We went to Hana Matsuri in Westminster. It is so cute and so good. We like to sit at the bar. Liking sushi is very new for me. Growing up, I thought it was way too fishy, and sometimes I still do. But we got the Mexican one with cream cheese, and then this other one is my favorite. It has jalapeno and cilantro on it. Oh my god, that is so fishy. I did my best, okay? And I don't know how to use chopsticks, so I use a fork. Don't make fun of me. Gotta get all up in that spicy mayo. Okay, we just got home from sushi, and I had to try this baby on. It was so comfy and cute. I really am so proud of him. He's seriously killing it. Like, it's so cool to see him going through all, like, the beginning business phases and, like, just seeing him, like, discover new things about himself and how he wants to do things. He's charging his worth. It's so cool to see. So guys, thank you for coming on this day with me. I hope you liked it. And if you want more, subscribe, comment what you want to see next. I want to show you all the things and I love you so much. Thank you for being here. Bye.